What's up everyone and welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we will be making a team only radio. So it's not gonna be really advanced but it will be simple. So let's go ahead and start by making our GUI. So of course we're gonna insert our screen GUI and then we're gonna add a frame. And let me just grab something real quick. This is what I use for scaling. That way it fits on most screens. So I'm going to fast forward this part. Okay, so we have finished making our login screen or our call sign selection. Whatever you guys would uh, like to call it. So in here, we're going to add two things or actually just one. We're going to add a local script inside of the call sign frame. So let's search for local script. And we're going to write the following script. Oops. And please make sure you are not in caps lock. Script.parent.text button. And we're going to do dot mouse button one click connect function. And then here we're going to, we're going to do if script dot parent dot text box is a uh, dot text. Hold on is equal to do nothing, which would be just quotation marks. Then local number equals script dot parent dot text box dot text. And then we're going to do script dot parent dot parent dot register call sign. And we're going to do fire server. So what we're going to do then is going to, we're going to add remote events and in this remote event, we're going to add number. So that's going to be their call sign. Then we'll do script dot parent dot visible equals false. And finally script dot parent dot parent dot frame. Oops, hold on script. Uh, yeah, script dot parent dot parent dot radio main is what we're going to name our radio and we're going to do dot visible equals true and let's set a else function if there's no text then we're going to make it say script dot parent dot text button dot text equals insert call sign then we're gonna do a wait function. So wait like one second. And we're gonna do, we're gonna leave it empty. So that's that. So now uh, I'm gonna speed run again, making the main radio GUI.
okay great now that we have created that uh this thing that i just wrote here was just to see how it would scale so that's how it would look with many people talking and then you could scroll up and whatnot so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just delete the text that's in here and i'm gonna set it uh visible off where is visible there it is Great, now that we have done that, let's go ahead and insert, uh, we're gonna insert our events. So, uh, we're gonna insert them inside of the GUI itself. So let's go ahead and search remote event. And we're gonna name first one, register call sign. We're gonna duplicate this and rename it to, uh, changed event and that's all we're gonna need so now we're gonna add a pool value and for this value we're just gonna rename it to call sign sorry activate and then we're gonna add a string value and this value we're going to name call sign. And that's basically all you need as of now. So let's go ahead and insert a local script. And inside of this local script, you're going to write the following local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then you're going to do local mouse equals player, and we'll do get mouse. If player dot team color is equal to brick color dot new. And here you'll, you're going to select the team that you want to be able to see the radio. So in this case, my color would be navy blue. Then script dot parent dot enabled equals true. Else script dot parent dot enabled equals false. And then we're gonna do mouse dot key down connect function. And we're gonna connect this, this function with the key. If key is equal to and then you select a uh, key, in this case it's gonna be Y. Then if Brick color dot new navy blue no sorry it's I forgot if player dot team color dot brick color navy blue come on navy blue then script dot parent dot changed oh really script up dot parent dot changed sorry changed event and we'll do fire server great now that we have that let's go ahead and make a regular script Again, inside of the GUI. And inside of the script, we're going to write the following. But before we do that, let's look for a radio beep. So in this case, I'm going to be using this one. So I'm just going to click insert, and it should just be in there. And I'm going to rename this to radio. Oops, radio. Sorry, I just got a new keyboard, and I'm not used to where the keys are. But let's go ahead and write the following. Local player equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent local text service equals game get service and we'll do text service. This is gonna be for the chat filter, that way you don't get banned. <laughs> if player dot team color is equal to brick color dot new. And we're going to do our same team color, which would be navy blue. Navy blue. 
then script dot parent dot enabled equals true uh did it again and there you go once you have completed everything from the script you can just go ahead and uh, click visible equals false on your new one so so the main chat just click visible and if you are in the correct team so let's just go into civilian real quick just to test and make sure it actually works so if i'm in civilian team the radio should not appear and there you go it's gone but if i am on the police team and not on the civilian team then the radio should stay there you go and uh, let's go ahead and put in a call sign so let's do one atom one we do a login and there you go we have a radio so if you chat hello or 10 8 it will not appear so in order to make it work all you need to do is click here i mean uh, your key button which is y it does the sound you do test and then you just scroll down and there it should appear if i do 10 8 10 11 black mustang near gas station there you go and if i try to try to say a no no word it should be uh oh okay well maybe i uh miss uh a mistake in the chat filter but that doesn't really matter as long as the radio works right and there you have it that's how to make a radio system team only so now let's say uh, you want to add another team and this let's just name this chp let's make it yellow so how do i add another team first of all you're going to open the script and then here, you're just going to copy this whole thing, just the brick color. And a line after, you're just going to write space or control V. And type in your new color here, which I believe it was deep orange. So in here, you'll just type deep orange, of course. Like that. And then you go into the local script and you do the same thing. Or... And then you do a deep orange. And finally, call sign, local. And, oh wait, this one doesn't have it. It's only those two. Should be only those two. And looks like that's it. So now let's go ahead and test it on the CHP team. See if it works there as well. And once you have completed all of that, there we go, we're on the CHP team. We should be able to speak in here. Uh, right, I gotta click Y. Oh no, what could we have done wrong? Let's go ahead and go back to your scripts and uh, recheck everything. Make sure we actually uh, put in the right call sign. Oh, forgot one more. So it's three in total that you need to do. You add a different team. If you did, just verifies it three times. So in case an exploiter decides to team themselves, you're gonna have to go to three verifications just to make sure they're actually on the right team. And it should work. Go ahead and uh, type something. Ten forty one. Ten eight. And there you have it. Thank you guys for watching this video. The file for this tutorial will be in the Discord server, so if you would like to use this model, just go ahead and join the Discord, download it, and insert it into your game. That's all you have to do. I'll see you guys in the next one.